Hello everybody. Welcome to follow my travels. Today we are starting right straight from the train station. Where is the exit? This is a Dutch city. I've been here first time. Maybe you too. I don't know. Let me arrange this brightness on the camera. All right, now I can see. Welcome guys. It's a beautiful day again. It's 21 Celsius here. Amsterdam was 23 Celsius. This is Alpen on the Rhine. A city probably you have never visited. And I mean my regular watches because you see there is Pauda nearby, a cheese city. I mean it's not the first destination when you travel to the Netherlands, uh, especially if you are departing from Amsterdam. There are some other choices around around this city, for example Leiden or Hauda. It's between uh, Utrecht and Leiden, which way Centrum right side. I don't know many things about the city. We will explore together. Together we will explore what's happening in the town. I thought it was a town, but uh, according to the internet, it's a city and municipality. Also, the population is more than 100,000. Look at that. Of course, there's a big bicycle park here. And this is gorgeous. Look at this. This is a bike park. I had seen this picture. Hey, Pablo, Adrian, Susie. So you will be traveling to here soon, that's good. Demirji is here, Paolo Melo family. Have a good day everyone, enjoy the tour. Please thumbs up at the beginning as usual. And Sundari. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, this is a passage connect to the other side of the city. So the this is train station. What is that? The verbinding, the connection. It says 2010. And I think it's, it's a free bicycle park. There are some rules written over there. Let's take a look inside and then I will continue to the city centrum. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at that. Maybe it's one of the most beautiful bike park I have ever seen in the Netherlands so far. It's not the biggest, but uh, the color is gorgeous. And also many floors. Actually, I will go up and I will uh, see the city from the top. I don't see any sign for no camera something oh, so this second floor it's also open to the city what a nice start to walking tour with a gorgeous architecture here i love some of the buildings uh, in the netherlands right i think the capacity must be more than 2000 bikes probably this floor is empty Wow. Hey, Naji Yusuf Bayelkan, my friend from Turkey. Greetings. Oh, three bikes are here at the end of the bike park. The bus stops are over there. It took me one hour to come here from Amsterdam Central Station. First, you have to arrive Leiden Central with a train, then take another train 10 minutes later to here, Sprinter, just two stops from Leiden Central. So in total, one hour waiting time is included. That's the name of the city, Alpen an der Rhein. And then Rhine, like uh, the meaning is like uh, next to the old Rhine, 
There is a river in the city. It's part of Rhine River. It's called R Old Rhine. And the history of the city goes back to 2000 years ago, to Roman times. Probably the name Alphen is coming from uh, Roman times also. All right, I will not use the stairs. I will walk down slowly from here. What things to see in the city? I, I read that the first uh, bird park of the world, it was founded here in 1950s. There is a big bird park, so, and there is a, f a lake nearby, like uh, 20 or 30 minutes from here. I don't know if it's an artificial lake or a natural uh, lake, but around the lake there are various activities. There's a golf club, there's a small beach, uh, there are some other sport activities. Also, I saw a name on the map, Hondenstrand, Strand, so that means Dog's Beach. I think there is a big dog uh, fun community, because I also saw a, a few companies about dogs. All right, which way? So, as if it's not enough, there are some other bike racks over there. Let's carry on walking down and explore the city. My expectation is the riverside should be very nice because I saw a lot of restaurants and bars on the map, I mean. Never been here, it's my first time. Actually, it was a perfect day spending some time in Amsterdam today. It was sunny, warm, like 23 Celsius, but I, I, I wanted to see somewhere new and I wanted to show you somewhere new other than Amsterdam. Maybe tomorrow we can visit Amsterdam again, I don't know. Yes, I'm a bit tired, of course. I was in the salsa club until two o'clock and I woke up at eight o'clock. So actually I slept like three hours something. And I will be out until the evening, but it was fun. I saw many friends yesterday, the salsa club. It was fantastic, the bird day of the owners yesterday and uh, I danced a lot uh, we drank a lot actually my tiredness uh, it's coming from the drinks not about dancing so I mixed the drinks a little bit some beers some rooms uh, some vodkas everything mixed that's why at that family bicycle I think we should go on this way right hey Susie thanks so much for the super chat for lunch I'm full but I will use some of them for an espresso or a beer later in the city when we arrive to the riverside. Unfortunately, it was fully sunny by the way, but not anymore. It's a bit cloudy now. A few hours ago, it was a better weather. It, uh, the Leiden city is like I said, 10 minutes away from here, just two train stations. And Den Haag probably is uh, like 20 minutes away from here, according to the map. And Utrecht, there's a direct train connection to Utrecht, sprinter train. 
or Wurden, another small town. Hey Leslie, you are right. I made a mistake. <laughs> but uh, another friend offered me to drink tequila also, but I refused that. So that was a wild shot. If I if I had drink, drunk uh, tequila also, I wouldn't be here today. I think I will be at home. This uh, building looks gorgeous. It's a small castle. I think it's residential. Private home. Let me check the map because I don't know the city. First time I'm here, here, as I said. Uh, so everything I see, we are exploring together. I think we are on the right way. When we see the river in front of us, we will turn left. And then we will be in the city center after that. Yes. Hello. For the centrum, I will go straight Sorry, and pardon? for the centrum. Centrum, yes. I will you go, can go to the left here. To the left. Over the bridge to the left also. Ah. Should, should I cross the bridge over there? Where do you want to go in the centrum? Uh, just walk around. I'm making a video about Alpen. Oh, right. right so. Well, you can go to the left and then to All the right. right and then you go. Well. Okay, thank you. I will explore. Thank you. Keep drinking, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Pablo. So, I just wanted to communicate uh, with a local, so they seem friendly. For the first people we talk, it was friendly. Uh, let's see how is the center. And, oh, another flexible bridge is over there, it's opening. Let me see if we cross to the bridge or we should go to the left, I mean, which side is better. Yeah, I think for a while we will not cross the bridge, we will go left. But I will just take a look to the riverside now. Oops, sorry for the zoom, by the way. Plenty of coffee shops, really? I didn't check coffee shops. I don't know why. Look at it, the Ottoman has come. Fall is here. Fall is in the Netherlands in August. Okay. I think another boat is coming because the bridge is open. Yes, here it is. You see for the boats also traffic lights over there. They're out. Hello. Nice. Now we will see how they close the bridge. It's a big one. If there's no other boat on the way, they should close it. Uh, let's see. Meanwhile, the pedestrians and bike riders are waiting in the corners. Another one is coming. It's a nice flag. The Britain, British boat is coming from UK. <laughs> All right, they start to close it. The magic happens again. Hello, Teresa Borg. Good to hear that. Yes, it seems beautiful place. Thank you. Hello, Malta Network Resources, Hamed Persian. Drink and iron. Yeah. Good choice. So when the parts are connected, the bridge will be open to the local residents. Uh, 
I mean cyclists and pedestrians. And it's done. Smaller boats uh, can continue to their way whether the bridge is open or not. Right, it's open. I think we should go also. Oh, we will turn, uh, go to the left actually. We will not cross the bridge. Okay, we will go to the other side later. Let's first see this side. It's a bit windy, so that's good today I'm using microphone. Otherwise you will, you will be hearing uh, wind noise a lot. Hello. Yeah, exploring the city. <laughs> like a vlog. Alright. I see a great tower over there. I saw that when I searched on the internet, but I can't remember what was about. Let's uh, we will see that. There's a Greek restaurant here, Acropolis. Oops, sorry. I didn't notice he was waiting for me. One interesting thing about this about this Dutch city is. Uh, there is a very little Turkish community here. Only one percent of the people living here, they are Turkish. And two percent Moroccan. Eighty percent of the people live here, they are native Dutch. It's a rare thing, I think, uh, for the most of the Netherlands. Usually there is a big Turkish and Moroccan community all other communities like Indonesian for example it's uh, yeah <laughs> thanks to follow my travel technology yes we are improving our sound quality it's not like Amsterdam yes right but we are still not in the center maybe Centrum will be more crowded I think we're like 200 meters away from here especially the riverside I would expect uh, more energy and crowd that looks cute how much is that it's 30 euro three of them i think yes like this <laughs> i think they're handmade so this is this must be official uh, Cafe Street in the center, probably. Looks nice, nice view. Italia, Italia Express on the right, catering. If you need some gold, here is the place. They sell gold here. I mean, they, they take your uh, gold. Say a barber, hairdresser. Looks great. Barista cafe. There is a barista cafe. Well, I will take an espresso from here, a barista cafe, but they play music inside, so I will try my chance somewhere else. I see a nice historic building over there, church. Let's see.
Oh, there is Eco Plaza here, organic food supermarket. A bit expensive, but biologic. Everything is biologic, organic. 100% biologic supermarket. For example, this ice cream, three of six pack, five euro. Not bad. This, but this is in discount. Okay, I'll not go further. Church is closed as I see. Here we turn to our street to explore more. As usual, there are bike racks next to the supermarket because most of the people in the Netherlands they do their shopping, supermarket shopping, with their bicycles. And we use this kind of bags in the back of the bicycle or a box like this to carry your six packs. <laughs> Bar 32. So many bicycle. Well, this is I, I like the names Burgemeister. Burgemeister, something like mayor, and they use this name sometimes for burger places, hamburger places. Burger means stism. So it's like stism master, I think. Which supermarket is this? Uh, Hochfleet. This is a supermarket usually you don't see in Amsterdam area in North Holland. In the south, I, I see that. Hochfleet. Wine bar. There is a wine bar here. Um, this is like a pharmacy and also cosmetic shop. Wine bar. Oh, some nice home accessories here. Balls. Uh, some other ceramic things, I think, yes. 70s color ceramic kitchen, kitchen accessory shop. What is that? Wordsman. It's similar to another one I see everywhere. What was the name of that? They sell uh, olive oil inside and also home accessories from kitchen to uh, bathroom, everything. In Utrecht, Amsterdam, everywhere, there is a shop on this fabric. So this is a similar one. Another church, I think. So you know Amsterdam's population is around 900,000, I think. This, this city has more than 100,000, so it's not a small city actually. This one is Advent Kerk Church. Kerk means church. Look what's written there. God say Matthew. God will uh, be with you or will... Yes. God is with you at 9.30. He will be there with you. Oh, this is the bridge we're going to use. There's a bakery here, Broad and Co. But let me see what is there. I see a media marked McDonald's.
I can understand it's not a top tourist destination when you travel to the Netherlands because First of all, you should have one. You should spend one hour to arrive here from Amsterdam. And the second thing, uh, Halda is closer to here, and uh, also Leiden, which is a really, really beautiful city where you can find both history and modern life together, and also good eatery and also. The big university is there, uh, vibrant population, great bars, restaurants, everything. So when you have an option like Leiden city, uh, until you visit Leiden many times, you don't think about here. For example, in my option, I've been living here in the Netherlands for more than six years already, but it's my first time here. I traveled all the places around this city. At least first time here. Here is the old Rhine River. And there is a nice cafe terrace area here. Especially in a sunny day like this. So many, so many sitting spots by the river. Let's take a look closer. The bridge is opening. It's called Alpense Bridge. I don't know if you can read that. Alpense Bridge, Alpense Bruch. Let's get closer to the bridge. We will cross the bridge also. Until then we will wait there. Look, some spots uh, were left here. I don't know what is this. Germany Emperor. Uh, it's in Latin language, I think. About the history of the Second World War, almost all the Jewish people were deported to concentration camps from here, from Alpen and Rhein. The bridge is fully open now. What do we have here? Oh, we, we came from that way already. Digital photo service. We will cross the bridge when they close it again. Dile and Camille, thanks Miriam, yes, that was the one they sell uh, mostly kitchen and bathroom things, Dile and Camille. Well, Nightbot says it's 23 Celsius, I agree with him. It's time to espresso, but uh, hopefully I will find a good one at the other side. This shop is closed, the Zak. Oh, not closed, uh, this side is closed. It's uh, we, we saw the terrace of the Zak. It's still uh, closed, uh, we are waiting for the boats, let's see. Take a closer look to the bridge process. See how many people wait at the both side. With good weather like this, if you live in small cities or towns where the connection is provided by bridges, I mean, most of the day it's like this. I mean, every five minutes the bridge is open and you wait at the other side. Waste is the same. 
the, the place I live in Wisp, another town in the Netherlands, another city, it's like an island, so you have to use bridges all the time. If it's warm weather, too sunny, then then bridge continuously open and close every day. Sometimes you wait 10 minutes, sometimes you miss your train. First world problems. Alfensebrug is closing now the bridge. <laughs> the people at the other side, they are so excited. Also this side. Yes. So many people wait here also. We are going to cross as well. Let's do not, do not miss the opportunity. And the race is starting. Right. Right. Almost there, almost there. Let's go! <laughs> Look at the bus, there is a bus over there. It was waiting for the bridge also. On this bus, payment can be done by your bank card, with your debit card. You don't have to buy ticket in advance. It's Arriva regional bus. Let's take a look to this side while the bridge is still open. There's a big theater building, Castellum. I saw it on the map. Look, this is uh, a snack bar for some I see, Bram Ladake. It's a snack bar, you can get some fast food, Febo style. I mean, but I don't see automated machines, boxes. You have to order and wait. This is a cinema, Bioscope Fu. Pronunciation is like Fu. Nice small shopping street. We will go to this side. <laughs> Let's see if we miss anything on this side. I think no, it goes to the lake area actually this way. At the first place I see on this street, I will get my espresso shot. There is a bubble tea option, actually. Maybe bubble tea also would be nice. Let me see. But they play music inside, so I'll use my chance somewhere else. Trattoria Delicacetan and good place. Do they have coffee? I don't think. It's a good place. Friends buy your food, best friends eat your food. Look at that. 
find any proto restaurant. Dining, fine dining. Isn't it the same uh, brand in Amsterdam we see, C and A? But the colors are different, I think. Adult lifestyle store. Oh, it's for adults. I thought something else. <laughs> Uh, housemate coffee, they say. Let's see, Knoss. Is that? But it's uh, Knoss Lynch. It's by the river. Let's take a look, Knoss. So, with this small Alex, you can see the riverside. I like those old school windows, national monuments. Bottle and hot water. Let me check if buying coffee is easy here. Okay, the music is not loud. I will try my chance. Actually, we can have a beer chill later. Let's first explore and then I will come back here. I will not stop for now. I will stop at the end. Hey, Thomas, South Mikat, thank you so much. Have a nice day, you too. Some typical brands are here, just like in Amsterdam. We see most of them, like Krautfat, like everywhere, it's also here. I didn't see a local market yet. While I'm saying, I think I see some stalls over there, hopefully. Oh, that will be nice if there's a local market here. Rituals. Another Rituals. It's around uh, Rockin. At Kalferstrat. Fresh strip waffle is here. Super waffle is two euro as I see. Super waffle is a big one, I think. Yes, fresh. So they make it here. And a small package is like euro. Oh, look at that. Interesting. <laughs> There are some bells here. A nice uh, waffle stall. So many bars and restaurants with nice terraces by the river. Another one is there. And uh, comfortable garden chairs. Also this side, it's also called uh, Barista Cafe, that one. Oops. Let me show you the other side. Look at that view. Wow, the best corner ever we saw here. Maybe we can sit there later at the end of the video for getting my vitamin D yeah this is like a little local market here welcome cheese lovers you have come to the right place here it is
Good morning, Tommy san. Hello, Bora. GGM cheeses are here. Tok Tok. Rote, the big one, Boron Cotton. One kilo is 12 euro. This one is uh, mice cheese. <laughs> Look at it, it's funny. If I understand correct, the lifetime is not that important as long as you are a cheese. Wise. Jersey, Auntie. Look at how thick is this. Oh, this is biologic cheese. <laughs> some other aromas so the, this is a city not famous with its cheese but it's very close to Kalda so you will expect uh, to find some popular cheeses okay this is Worden's Worden is another city nearby what is that Melange should be nice Herb, bees look, rodebes, flower, home. Uh, also honey, 200 gram is 2 euro and 50 cents. I think this is 200 gram with some herbs and uh, honey. It's noble blue. 500 gram, 7 euro. There are some special cheeses here. Yeah, look at that. Some of those cheeses, you cannot find it on the supermarkets. They only sold, uh, they're only sold in uh, local markets or specific cheese shops. Look at that, it's a uh, 16 month old cheese. 500 gram is now 7 euro, this one. And uh, goat cheese. Goat cheese is half kilo, seven euro. This one is goat. Yeah, this one is goat cheese actually. I don't know this one if it's the same. There are spicy cheeses, cheese with beer. They put everything in the cheese. Oh, Italian. There is an Italian place here. But I don't see a special coffee machine inside, sorry. <laughs> I'll skip. Let's continue to explore the local markets. I know some of you like walking around the local markets. The clock battery changes 7 euro. I think you were asking yourself, where is the fish stall? Here it is. Brown van Dierman world of fresh fish. As usual, pretty crowded. There is a long queue. Another fish. This, so, this is fish square. I think all the stalls are serving fish, selling fish. Only one thing is different, there is a Vietnamese stall, food stall, a little bloom market, flower market here. <laughs> so this is Vietnamese, a small mini Vietnamese food stall, check. Another cheese stall, Kasbur, cheese farmer, stack, strong, and tapas, olifan, clothes. I think we are slowly 
coming to the end end of the local market timing personally i like uh, visiting these small cities or towns you you see some different things different brands that you cannot see in the big cities like amsterdam and also usually i think people are more friendly travel man it's me Let's still continue. Ah, it's it's a local market like a labyrinth. Still going to the right side. I told it we are at the end. Oh, of course, fruit and vegetable section. Mango, mango, three pieces, six euro. Melon, melon per piece, five euro. Ananas, no price. But they are imported products, so they are more expensive comparing to other countries. Tropical fruits are more expensive when you compare to the fruit or vegetables who, uh, which were produced in the Netherlands. Gallia melon, two for one. So you buy two and pay one. But I can't see the price. I think one euro. Probably one euro. Yes, two of them, one euro. They sell only only melon, I think. A few, a few products only. Let's cross the bridge. Other side. I'm a bit thirsty, to be honest. Uh, like 10 or 15 minutes walk a little bit more and then I will sit somewhere order my drink cheer up with you and then we will close but still I didn't get my espresso I'll try this one let's see Hello. Do you have takeaway espresso? Yeah. I'm not showing you. One double no. espresso. One double espresso. Yeah. Yeah. Nice place. Card at time. Many cards. So the breakfast is nine euro. Coffee. Homemade brownie. Two euro and fifty cents. Oh, with the with coffee. See. So that at the other side of the car there are coffee prices. It's a big place. Oh, it's a library. Oh, bookstore is here. Look at that. It's a huge place. It's not only a cafe restaurant. Also bookstore something. Oh, really? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, double cookie. <laughs> double cookie, double espresso. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> nice day. It is. 
Double espresso, double cookie. Nice. I like the place. Before, oops, yes. I have to close it. Close the lid first and let's eat this first. Mm. Mm. Nice. Butter, sugar, soft, creamy a little bit. But they have also sitting area next to the canal side. Cheers. Uh, thanks, Suzy. This coffee is paid with your donation. Thanks all Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Cheers. I mean special thanks. <laughs> of course, I'm thankful to each one of you who watched this video. I'll go back to the riverside. But I see something over there in the corner. So let's take a look. By the way, I, I like this building. Look at that. It's a uh, environment friendly Dutch architecture. Look at that. I think it's like a small shopping mall. This this side of the city is looking like more residential. Yes, it's a shopping mall. I'll get inside. From the other side, we will get out. I see Hema inside. Oh, look at this garbage bin for 30 years old. 30 years old. Let's go. Time to see shopping mall. So Albert Tyne is here. And Heima. Summer decorations. It's a big Hema, to continue. Still the same same place, I think. Which side we go? I'll turn right. Where is the exit? We are in the labyrinth again. Look 
Okay. There is a tema here. I think it's like an airport. So we have to check in. This is check check in area in Airhof Airport. There is an event here. But I will go further. I think this is an attraction for the children. Uh, an event for the children. Walker. <laughs> hey David, Martin de Jong, David and Martin, welcome. Where are we now? Okay, there's a bagels and beans. Maybe uh, it has the best terrace for bagels and beans throughout the country. I'm going back to the riverside now. I'll find a nice terrace, hopefully. Lots of great sitting spots everywhere. I will try this uh, fresh stroop waffle, but I'm full. No more sugar today. Ah, let's see this area. Which side? Uh, I will sit there, but maybe the other one is better. The back, one of them, I see. I have seen. Glasses. School. Yes, we are back to the same shopping street. Maybe if we come here another time again, we can visit the bird park and the lake. But not today. There is a bit distance from here to there, like 30 minutes walk for transport. But it's already almost on an hour video. Oh, this is the yeah. It's, it's Martin said it's passage. So this passage it's called the Arhof. I think I missed uh, something. Super chat, I think. Who is that? I can't see. Wait a second. Uh, oh my god, I can't see that. Wait a second. Oh yeah, David. David Zuckerman, thank you from David and Ken in Los Angeles. David and Ken, thanks so much. Thanks a lot for your support. Tommy San is also from LA. Also, GGM is from LA. That's the place we saw before. I will check if we can sit there. We will sit like five, ten minutes together, and then I will stop the video. 
I'm here for a beer tea this time. After espresso, I'm awake enough so I can sip a little beer tea. Probably I will choose a Belgian one if there is a sitting uh, area here, sitting spot. Oh yeah, it's a good one. That's it. Let's see. Yeah. I saw a spot, but I'm gonna ask. Hello. Can I sit in the corner? Thank you. Hello. I think they reserved this spot for me. Oops. As if I will live in my own terrace. Look at that. How comfy is that? Oh my god. I'm sorry. People are great, they're always smiling. You didn't see most of them, but oh, I'm talking or police. Police bot on the way. Let me check the menu. I think there is a menu here. Uh, cross, coffee, lunch, more. Okay. okay. Tap beers, cross. They have cross, cross, uh, pure rising. Oh, they have Krimberg and Blonde. I'll take that one. <laughs> right, they're coming. Cross. Hello. Hello. And you have Krimberg and Blonde. Yes. Right. Perfect beer, and I'll take that one. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'm making a video about the city. <laughs> So that's why I have a camera like this. Oh, that's very cool. Is it okay if I show you? Yes. <laughs> she is the best, best Frau here. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully she will bring our Krimbergen Blunt. Quickly, thank you so much. <laughs> it's a YouTube live, so I'm not uh, crazy. <laughs> oh, that bridge is. Again, it's crowded. Look at that. Ants are walking on the bridge. <laughs> Martin approved my drink. Thank you so much. Krimbergen, good choice. I think so. Yes, it's a very good beer. I mean, for Belgian beers, it's uh, one of uh, my best. I think it's Belgium, right? Krimbergen. Ah, oh, yes, I think. Krimbergen is a city in Belgium. Belgium. Uh, here, Norkel. I think uh, Urkel is different. For Pilsner, my first choice is all, always Pilsner Urkel, if there is a choice like that. But I think the place I visited yesterday, it's the only place uh, serving Pilsner Urkel from uh, uh, Draft. I mean, some other places they have Pilsner Urkel, but uh, in bottle. However, despite it's from the drought, yesterday's Pilsner Urkel, it's not 100% the same taste with the one uh, I drank in Prague. Because in Prague, if you try that beer in certified uh, pubs and restaurants, Pilsner certified restaurants, it's a totally different taste. It's a, uh, because they use big barrels, big uh, equipments about that. Uh, if you ever visit Prague in the future, I will strongly recommend you to try it. Urk, Tommy Stanley, it's interesting. How do you know Urk? <laughs> I have never been there, but it's on my list. However, 
the going there is uh, it takes too much time for such a small place we have to spend too much time so i'm not sure when i can visit i think so Pablo is a great place but like, as far as i saw on the tables all the tables were dirty so it was a busy busy time it's almost four o'clock i think between 12 o'clock till three o'clock it's pretty busy here i'm lucky oops, oops. <laughs> something broken Because of the wind, the ashtray dropped down and it's broken. There's a strong wind here. Yes, I heard the same damage. Thank you. But uh, because of the wind, it's dropped down and oh, it's broken. Me. I didn't do that, sorry. <laughs> because of the wind. Oh, be careful <laughs> for your hands. Thank you. <laughs> so it comes with a special glass. Look at that. Look at the color. Golden color. Frame bargain. Cheers. Prost. Mm. Uh, David has a question. Is Alpen under rain a decent residential path? I think so, as far as I see, David. Despite I didn't see the residential area much, we walked around the centrum, but it it looks like like nice place. I'm there is a river connection here in the middle of the city, a lot of restaurant, cafe bars, and it looks like a peaceful place. There is a good train connection. There is a train station here. Train station is only two stops away from Leiden, another big city also to Den Haag with two trains or one bus I think you can arrive to Den Haag or Utrecht Utrecht is 20 minutes away from here probably or 30 minutes all right that's the end of the video guys thanks so much for watching I will enjoy the rest of the beer and then I will go back Amsterdam So I will took some shots for my vlogs and TikTok videos. I will record something because we have a nice weather today. I will walk around Amsterdam and then in the evening I will go back home. Cheers. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow maybe. Bye bye. Tommy son, I will be in Amsterdam, but I'm not sure if I make a live stream from there. Maybe, but it's a little chance today, I mean. Caesar, hello. Good, good morning. Bye bye.